We have two levels left to do before completing level three. And then we basically have four levels to go as far as I can tell. We are pretty close to getting this. So we're going back to A3 right now. So I gotta... This one has been plaguing me. This one I think is still the hardest level on the day. I would say this is even harder than D3. D3 is just information overload. This one's just really tricky. So the challenge of A3 is that... All, only purples can go in the question mark boxes and the oranges can only be accessed by going in a gap between two exclamation or question mark boxes. So I need to have a gap to enter as the train while both of these boxes are filled. So I had to figure out a way to fill both of these up with purples and then have a train with both oranges be able to enter and also be able to exit. <laughs> it has to be able to exit with a clear path. This is like crossover nightmare. I could go back to the strat where I just have an orange in the front, purple in the back. It's not a bad strat. And I wish I could just do this. That would be so nice. But if I escape, I can never drop you off. And I, so that means this start just is incorrect. Oh, uh, this is an interesting start. Orange in the front right now. I don't think this is quite it though. Because I need to drop them off at some point without blocking off this section. I feel like my best start was when I honestly went over to the left side like this. This seems stupid, but it also seems right. So who's laughing? So here's how this would have to end if I was to do this. It would have to end like this or something. Yeah, I think like this. If I had that start because I need to end with the oranges. Not even necessarily need to end with the oranges. I just need to have the oranges be able to enter and exit like so. Like this would be a train carrying two oranges coming through here. So then I would, well, how would I get this purple? This actually seems impossible because I can't get this purple here. So this cannot possibly be it. I don't like this. Man, this can feel so good once it gets done. But I don't know. This is, this is like, this is my pogo stuck. This, this level is destroying me. I don't even feel brain dead right now. I don't. I think I just need to take a better strategy to this. A better strategy than figuring out exactly how this opening works. Maybe my entire premise for how I'm approaching this level is flawed. Maybe I don't need to be thinking about ending on the two oranges. Maybe I could have it end like this, for example. If it ends like this, how do I pick up these three? So I come in, I pick up this guy and this guy. And then what happens is how am I exactly going to drop someone off here? I would come down draw the track, drop him off here, and then I would never pick him up and both escape. Simply would not happen. So let's maybe draw some different lines. This line isn't that much better. What about this? No, because in the beginning, I'd have to enter here and then I can't really exit. Oh, also, how do I even hit the purple? It would have to be like this. Hit the purple, hit the orange, and then what would happen? I would hit this house and then I would come out and grab you and then come through. It doesn't matter Then I'm stuck. This is my beginning. I am stuck. What if coming out actually involved going this way and then hitting the orange, this guy? This is almost some big brain shit. Because what if the last thing I do is not drop off the oranges? What if the last thing I do is hit some previously trapped purple guy? So what if instead of dropping off purple at specifically there, maybe drop off a purple here? Well, then we have so many different ugly lines and all that stuff that's just super awkward i could end like this oh well, this is interesting because what i can do is start like this drop off the purple guy here and then we got our orange coming around this seems almost potential like it has potential so we just have an orange in the back right now this feels okay but i still need to get these purples to here before i can come in with both oranges i could also come through here both technically work i'm gonna keep running with this i feel like there's a chance with this so I'm going forward. I'm also, I'm thinking forwards and backwards. So I could come around the purple like this, drop off purple here. And then this almost works. This picks up everyone. Even gets them to the right place, except we have to connect this and that. So close. Don't undo it too much. I'm going backwards. The last thing I do has to be picking up an orange. And then the thing I have to do afterwards is dropping off a purple. Oh my god, it, this, this I, I can't give up on this yet. It's somewhere in this vein. I'm just missing out. What if I drop off the purple here? Purple goes to here, then I'm screwed. Because then I pick up this purple and I can drop off this again, but I don't have the orange in my vehicle. Let me try to give myself a little bit more space, possibly. Like this. <gasps> this might make better use of the crossroad. Oh, shit. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because then what I could do is I can end like this. 
I think this is it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> are you ready? Guys, are you ready? I think this is it. Let's see if it's the case. Oh god. Here we go. I'm gonna run this in slow motion. Possibly could be it. The longest path I think I've ever constructed in this. I had to make extra space up here. I didn't realize that that was part of the case. Oh my god, please. I think we got it. Oh! <laughs> yes! What a challenge! Holy crap, that level was hard. That was insane. Truly insane. We used the entire screen. There were so many ways to look at this. I had to go backwards by looking at the exits and ruling out so many of them. Pog champ indeed. Alright, it's on to D3 now. D3 is another one I passed up, but there's no way it's as hard as A3. This was challenging, don't get me wrong, but it only has six aliens. This can't be as bad. It's impossible for this to be as bad. You did it wrong. You should have turned the train into a bus after all. Mmm, the bus strat, of have course. How pop-up houses but still use trains? Dude, trains are the future. Six aliens. Six houses. They're awkwardly placed. The green aliens are definitely tricky, but it can't be that bad. So, there's two ways I could start this. One, by going through the middle, donking, and then picking up one like this. Or by not donking, and leaving space so that I can come like so. Let's try to explore this option, because I think both are equally valid. I would pick up the purple and green, and then drop them off. And then, I would have a problem with getting to this house. I would have to go like here, and then there's only one choke point. That is why I like to do this start. Makes it a lot easier. But... Let's say we don't do exactly this. Let's let's rule. Sh see if I can possibly rule out other options. Like, I feel like there could be some other weird thing with the portal. The portal really trips me up right now that could allow this start to happen. But I'm going to say that this is the start to go with. Picks up a green and a purple and allows me to drop them off with room to spare. I can very easily hop through the portal, drop off the green, and then hop out. There's three ways I can access this portal. This way is bad because it does not allow me to re-enter here. This way, uh, this way can work, I and mean, I exit down here. Or this way, and I exit to the left. Two reasonable ways to exit that portal. That's what it's all about. If I go down, honestly, I think I'm just going to immediately roll it out. I think we should not even roll it out, just start with going this way. Because if I go this way, what I can do is pick up the other green, or the other purple and then one green like so but if i do this then i block off the green which means i cannot use this path what i could try then instead is going to pick up this last green which i'd made space for and then probably immediately hitting the portal i've tried this before though I, we all know it's well we don't all know it's not gonna work but we n are pretty sure it's not gonna work because what happens is that i am on i still have one green in the vehicle and i can't quite drop it all off i might have to work backwards on this one what if i do work backwards what if I simultaneously work forwards and backwards again? That was not a bad idea. So what if I do that? I could end like this, where I pick up this green, then drop them off here. Then what? I would maybe drop off the orange and the, or the green and the purple. I would do so like this. This gets really close to working. This looks like it works, but it just doesn't. There's going to be some weird green shenanigans that are going to screw with me. This is like a functioning path, but yeah, what's going to happen is that we're going to fill both seats with greens, and then he's never going to get on. Oh, I realized there's another way to start this. My start would be immediately going to a portal. I didn't even consider that. Instead of going to these guys, immediately going to a portal. Let me try to flesh this idea out. <laughs> Something like that, maybe? I have not considered that as a potential start. This is super weird. I can do this, I realized. I can hit it in this order. Then I can hit up these two. Ah, let's back it up a little. This is... Not bad looking though. I think I'm gonna restart again. This one definitely is not as hard as A3. I'm just going a little bit more slowly. It's still difficult, don't get me wrong. But there's so many options I haven't even considered. This start gives me the most options. So what's the problem with this specifically? Problem is that we can't really get this anywhere and we can't really fill this. So what if I immediately try to focus on doing both of those things? So maybe something like this, drop you off here. And then I get stuck here. What if I back this up and just drop this off? So then I would not be picking up this guy, but I'd have to go around here and then drop these both off. Then I'd pick up you, come around here, get this. This looks maybe promising. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. Let's see. I think we've done it. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really feel like this was not as challenging as A3. I think I just brain farted a bit. Level four in Nova, potentially four levels left. Let's see if that's really the case. A uh, pretty small level. So this portal is really interesting because it's a one use portal. So we have to hit the green last, which means we could probably start like this. This seems convenient. Let's hit the one that's closest to us. Let's get these over here. And we got to pick up other purple. How do we hit that portal though? We have to use that portal somehow. What if I come around like this? I feel like this path could be excellent actually. And I might as well use the portal now. Cause then what I can do is that I can pick up you hit up you here and then come around like so and we get the green and then call it. And then we've already beaten the fourth final level in the game. The unorthodox pathing, I think gets it done. Okay, level five time. We've even unlocked level seven. I'm not even gonna look at it until we get through these. Okay, and suddenly it's a lot more difficult now. We got greens, we got crossroads, we got question marks. Yeah, that one was quite the breather. So the purples have to go in the question marks. No doubt about it. So purple, orange, question mark like that. Seems pretty simple. Oh, also greens have to go in question marks. I must say that is, oof, that is annoying. So this start seems pretty wrong just on principle. Cause then how do I get these two in the back? Like, do I go like this or something? And I have the front seat be corrupted always? I don't know. I don't like it very much. I could try going around like this. This would bring an orange into here, which is absolutely wrong. I just don't see that working out. So let's try a different idea. We could do the purple green combo right here. We drop off a purple here. I don't know if I like that. I think I'm gonna have front seat be green and then back seat's purple. Then how do we get here? Oh boy. Yeah, this one's gonna be difficult. So purple going here, orange in the back or green in the back seat. Then I immediately need to pick up a non-green. I, I could also go like this, just get that out of the way. But then this crossroads is completely neutralized. And I feel like my solution would need to use a cross roads. There's no way that this could just be a red herring. I refuse to believe it. That sounds too ridiculous even for this game. I actually like this start quite a bit because all we have now is a green in here. So what I'm going to do is go around and hit this way. Green in here and then drop off the orange here. So we still have just the green in the front seat. This is really close. I think we're just going to have uh, not going to be able to get that last or, or last purple in. Let me just make sure. Yep. So close. Um, <laughs> maybe a slightly different start. Kyver's start like this. Pick up the purple. Drop off purple here. We don't hit here yet. That can be hit later. How's this run? Hey, there it is. Level six. Two levels to go. Can you believe it? Only four aliens. So the greens have to go in the question marks. All right, so we gotta hit up this most likely. Purples cannot go in question marks. What if I have to start by going into here? There's no way, there's no way. Like I was thinking about trying to hit these guys up first. I guess it's not impossible, right? I could start like so. Cause then what I could, well, how do we get to the other guys? It's just ideally I would want a green in the front seat. What about, wait, what about this path? This could give a lot of possibilities. This almost gets it because what would happen is I would set this up, but then I exit the wrong direction. I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. All right. I should probably start, oh, go, just go back to the most obvious possible or option. We just pick these up and have purple in the front seat. So I would need to hit this up and then I have to loop around like so. So I could have once again, purple in the front, green in the back and I'm trapped. So I could try going like this, but I think I get trapped. Yeah, no, that's a problem. But maybe this is possible. This might have more merit. So I had the idea, but potentially going to a different group first. So green's in the front seat. Wait, this actually looks really solid. So yeah, just go to a different group, but green in the front seat. So it's like double big brain. I was thinking about just jumping through and going to this group, but I actually jump through and come back to this group. I take the long way around to get to the closest group. Wow. It is time for the final level of Cosmic Express, the big seven. Nova seven. I hope you guys are excited. Let's do this. Oh, they even have some floating stuff on the outside. Listen to the sound of the box thump. 
Uh, so there's two portals on the edges. It looks like the portals can really only be accessed. Well, they can be accessed a couple times. Yeah, you can access them three times if you wish. So six aliens. So many crossroads, like Jesus. And then uh, kind of confusing setup. So two greens, which we obviously want to avoid. Two question marks and then one orange and one purple house. So a lot of possibilities they've left us with. So whenever we pick up the outermost orange or purple, we have no choice but to pick up this green. It's just almost always going to happen. Unless if I decide to pick up, say, this orange first. Which I could. I might. I actually may do that. But there's just so many possibilities that I don't even know where to begin. I'm getting, once again, information overload, which has been a problem for me for so many of these levels. There's so many ways to start. I guess I just have to do one of them. Who knows what it's going to be? It's just something. All the boxes are down here as well, so that's kind of tricky. I wonder if I want to actually start by portaling up here. This feels like a very strong start. I could even uh, possibly come over here, pick up this guy and this orange. Then I screw myself. So let's back off. Let's hit this orange first. I'm not leaving myself space to actually grab these. Okay, so this start's not right. I'm trying to get the greens pretty uh, near the end. I'm trying to get them last if I can help it. But maybe I shouldn't try to help it. Maybe I should just start like this. Pick up an orange and a green. Nice, convenient little start. And then I drop them off here. Now, what sucks about this is I actually can't get the purple. So let's back out a little bit. This will let me get it. So orange is in the front seat, green in the back seat. So now I'll get this orange. And I might as well, I can't might as well get the other green. But I will get this other orange right now. So the other orange has no choice but to go, what uh, to two? Hmm. What do I want to do here? Do I ever go back to the portal, maybe? I think I do. I think it's time for one last portal. I think I'll set this up to get the uh, these two. But then I can't get that last purple. So that's a big no-no. This could work. What the hell, though? So I got the uh, purple into the question mark. That can't possibly be right, because I would have to end like this. And how would I ever drop off that orange? <sighs> There's so many options. Oh, jeez. At least I can't possibly brute force it. That's that's for sure. This this one this one's gonna be tricky. I still think this is the best first move I could possibly make. And I still like picking these up. What if I take these and bring them down to the bottom corner? Now I know you might be thinking, well that's just insane. That takes up so much space and there's no real benefit. Yeah, but I'm desperate, so bring it on down here to drop off the green and orange. Well, I have a lot of unused crossroads if I do that. I feel like I can't be making that many trips, though. I think my first trip has to involve two monsters and not a green guy. So how do I do that? Like this? Could work. Drop them off here, possibly. I don't know if I like that drop-off spot. Now that I think about it. Because dropping off these greens are actually going to be pretty annoying. The portal on the side is really tripping me up, though. Maybe I come in here and then grab an orange and a purple. Well, I tried this and failed. This could be okay. This one could at least work. So then purple, or is there not purple? Uh, green in the front seat? Preferably not. Preferably orange in the front seat. Because then I can do this. Pop out over here. And that's not going to get me very far. Because I'll be able to pick these up, but at what cost? I'll be blocking the exit. And blocking my hopes. I actually do get pretty close, though. <sighs> Anyone else tired? At least we got a lot done today, right? We got that much done. Everything here except for the final level. It was a lot. There were some hard levels. A3 and D3 were insane. I feel like 7 is a little bit of a combination of it being insanely hard and me just being dumb on it. Because I'm not applying myself. I had to apply myself to beat A3 and that was great. And ever since beating A3, I've just kind of fizzled out. Last night, I thought was going to be the final time I streamed this game. Dude, is my cam lagging? Okay, are we good? Hold on, let me, let me mess with this before I do my intro. What the fuck is even blurring? Well, uh, we're just gonna have a laggy behind camera. Well, hold on, if we're going shitty cam, but the, ah, there we go. Excellent. Everything is good now. This is what I look like in real life. RTX is now on, okay? So, Nova 7. This level has given me hell. This single level is harder than anything that Snakebird has offered. It is 
almost getting to the point where it is harder than anything that Baba is You has offered. That is how difficult this final level is. And I don't even know where that came from. Nothing else in this world was even as close to as difficult as Nova 7. A3 and D3 were the next hardest, and those were about, I want to say, 45 minutes tops. I think I've done over an hour and a half on this level and made no real progress. So what I did last time was something along the lines of this. I would come up through the portal, I would grab these two, and then what's nice is that immediately I could just kind of come down, drop them off, start doing some stuff where maybe I pick up this guy or something. I just drop you off over here, and basically I end with some sort of thing like this, kind of. It's not exactly like this, but you get the idea. So what happens is I need to get this orange, bring it across, drop it off here, and then the tricky part is I need to get the purple, drop it off, and then manage to come back. So we start here, come up here, pick up these two, drop off these two. Everything's good. Pick up orange, drop off orange. Now we just go, gotta go grab that purple. Sounds simple enough. Let's go up and grab him. Grab the purple, drop him off, and then we over here, and then we come back, and then we're a little stuck. As of right now, we got nowhere to go. We could do two things. We could either connect this path here, or we could connect this path here, get into the exit. Either way, there's going to be some path that's just undone. So I'm trying to figure out a way to optimize this so I can cross over a little bit better. Something I had in mind was maybe trying to utilize more of the crossroads. I mean, what does that really accomplish, right? They don't actually do anything as far as I can tell. What if I pick up purple first, then drop them off? Because what could happen is I could hit up the orange later. All I know is at some point, I gotta bring over orange like this. And purple does not seem like it's gonna be able to be dropped off. It almost can. Right, so all I need to do is connect this line here. And we've won. This line just needs to be connected. So one more crossroads. And it's game over. The crossroads can be optional. They 100% can be optional. Because sometimes they make life more difficult for you. Like, you can't turn on a crossroads, for example. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It just feels like going for the uh, purple first is inefficient. How about this? Probably doesn't help. Wait, why don't I do this? I don't know if you guys can take me seriously because of the wide cam, but does this seem like it works to anyone? Was I doing this middle section stupidly this entire time? Because I was having, I was first having this go to the bottom, then like, well, I can't cross over. Why would I not just untangle it? Holy shit, I think we gotta run it. If this is it, this is the final level. Let's go. I'm gonna even do it double speed, because it's big. We drop these guys off, we pick up the purple, bring them here, drop off the orange. By God, I think we've done it. We beat Nova. Let's go! That actually didn't take long at all. I spent an hour and a half on this yesterday, and I get it within 15 minutes. Probably even less because I was messing with the wide cam today. This took me like 10 minutes. I cannot believe it. A fresh perspective was all I needed. Oh, what a game. Yeah, I think it was my fault, though. I should have gone to bed earlier last night because I know for a fact that what I did was not that complicated to fix it. I was missing something so obvious, and I was tunnel visioning, visioning last night. And I was just too tired to think it through. So, this was sick. Alright, so there it is. There's a whole, our whole world. There's additional endgame content. Oh, wait, there is. Look at this. Hold on. A few of the levels have been unstarred. So, when you fully complete a level, it has a gold star. But I've noticed in the past, it has like a silver or a white star or something like that. So, there's a few levels that seem to have white stars on them. Mysterious. What is the deal with that? Maybe the game isn't truly over.